All right, guys, welcome to the finals of Friday Night Smite. We should have a good one. Risky Behavior versus Vicious and Delicious. Two top Challenger Cup teams going head to head right here. Sir Ket, Giannis going to be banned out. Finals are going to be casted by, well, us two. We've been doing it all day. Ray Train, me, then A Rock, this guy. Hey, what's going on? What? Hello? Where am I? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we are, <laughs> we are here. We are here to paint the picture for you. And, you know, speaking of painting, go ahead and spam your Bob or your Kappa Rosses. Hey, yeah. Kappa Ross. Kappa Ross. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's what we do as broadcasters. We're here to paint the picture for you and get everything going on with our imagery and our trees or elite. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I remember watching f freaking Ross when, like, my grandma was. That's all I remember from Kappa Ross. Kappa speaking Ross of trees, looks like Rip to uh, our goddess of the forest and such hell. Yeah, hell's not gonna be available. Uh, you know, Kaparos forces. We need. I want to see Sylvanas now. I would just want to. Yeah. I just want to see Sylvanas. <laughs> I need Sylvanas. <laughs> I need Sylvanas so I can make some picks. Ice is gonna be first locked in for Xenotronics over there. Strong first pick again. Uh, everyone's just been banning out mages against Risky. They're like, no Zeus, no Giannis. You know, play something else. And you know, has been able to sustain and played really good. Uh, Geb gonna be hovered over first possibility. Metapsychosis is gonna have the option. But we'll see what they decide to go with as Geb possibly won. You know, you know I keep um, forgetting. I keep forgetting that Ninja Sniper plays Isis, so this is kind of the ban. I keep forgetting that. I, I get it, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. If he plays if Leaf plays Isis and they take it away, that, that makes perfect sense. And, yeah, that that's what it is, yeah. Because otherwise Ninja selects Isis and they win the game. Because Ninja's Isis is like so, Famous Hate, if you could please do us a favor and give us another guy besides Hootie, I would love you. I mean, we know you're good at it, man, but come on. Some variety. I mean, no, because then he's just going to play Apollo, and he's just going to, like, kill everybody. Apollo. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. Oh, he's not even selecting his ADC yet, so he's, like, the, yeah, he'll hold on to that. Unless he goes below to ADC. I mean, they do I, have I three this, games. They <laughs> I really get this, uh, I get this team comp, though. That circles. Like, Isis, circles, all, Bologna, yeah. All, yeah. Circles win games. Oh, there. Famous they, they was like, "Come get on, man." Yeah, he's like, get, "Get my god, real fast." So he, more he circles. Heard, he heard me. Yeah, he's like, he "Yo, did. listen, you don't talk about who ye like this." Yeah, he actually went onto the stream, listened for the thirty seconds before the pick came out. Was like, "Man, that guy's talking." We go back real fast, even though we're on a spectator <laughs> delay. That's what happened. <laughs> Things going on as vicious and delicious will get the next pick right here before the next banning phase come out. Might be the mid lane uh, if they choose to do so, uh, or they could. Possibly pick the solo laner. I mean, Bologna has options with going jungle. I think crazy. That yeah, I've seen Skelly play Warrior. Good oh, pick ABC. up on the Shiba Lanke. Good pick up on that. If they listen, I love Hu Yi, but I love Shiba Lanke more because all you have to do is get one kill, and then your ADC will never be able to fight you ever again. That's great. Like as soon as you get a kill on Shiba Lanke, that's GG for the other ADC unless you feed uncontrollably. Yeah, I mean, it really just comes down to a, a damage aspect. If you're on the same build and really even with the Shibanke, if he has a kill or two, are like you said, at a loss because he has more power just based on passive. So, if you hit the same abilities that he does, he's going to win. Uh, but again, at the same time, Tui does have that mark, which is going to give him some more pen. This is why he's a boxing ADC, but the stage three or stage two bands are coming out, I should say. Nuwa going to be hit up here for the band, not on that. Oh, we will see as Kepri did get banned out. So finally, our first Kepri ban. Not getting picked up at all. This whole entire, really, Friday Night Smite, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, he's really strong right now. And it looks like Ninja's going to go ahead and run the Agni in the mid lane right there versus the Isis. Really a good matchup for the Agni. Uh, once they hit level 5, able to stop the wind dust. Uh, until then, a little bit of issues. Oh, we have another ADC. So Honor going to get picked up. Oh, Are that's... we going to see, uh, we might see something funky come out of Skelly right here. Uh, no true support selected at this moment in time. Are they going to try to select the Sun Wukong again, which is available for support? Or going to more of a Guardian or run Double Warriors again? Well, here's a uh, Sobek. Okay, I, I respect that. I respect the Sobek pick. Like, plucks, plucks are awesome. I, I love Sobek's mechanics. But, just as we were talking about... Hey, Bob Ross! Kappa yeah, Kappa Ross. Ross is Kappa Ross! I'm not even calling him anything else but Kappa Ross from here on. <laughs> so Kappa Ross gets selected. Alright, uh, sweet. Uh, I, I don't want... Please don't play Fenrir. Like, you're fighting an ADC, so please just play Hades or something. <laughs> like, if he plays Hades, 
versus Fenrir, you know, he has a much better chance. Even though Hades does kind of destroy ADC's, or excuse me, uh, Fenrir destroys ADC's early game, uh, I'd really like to see a Hades versus, because later on that Onher is actually just going to eliminate that Fenrir. Yeah, double ADCs is uh, really something you haven't seen too, too often again lately. It was something really strong early season. It was like, oh, give me the Neath and give me the Shablanke and we'll win. Uh, or something like that. That's kind of like the way it used to be. But nowadays, everything's kind of changing up. I don't see the two ADCs as much. On her extremely strong, though. That's going to be going over to, let's see. So Famous will actually Famous. be playing the On her And Crazy is going to be playing it in the solo lane, the Hupi. A little, yeah, a little bit of a switch up right there. Okay. Okay, I, I, I dig it, famous. Okay, you heard me out. You heard me out. You thought, you thought your decision over. You thought it over. I, I respect that. He actually might have got into the stream and heard you that time. Like he actually had time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that time around, he actually had time to, to, to tell you what was going on. So. Well, that's a wrap up on our trades, and um, we should have a timer coming out here pretty quick. Any last thoughts before we uh, cut to a detonate screen? Oh, you know, right now, honestly, this looks like it's going to be a good matchup. Risky Behavior took 35 minutes to win the last game. Vicious and Delicious is a very strong team. They've always pretty much been near the finals, if not every time we've done Friday Night Smite. So, honestly, all I'm expecting is a really good close game. That's it. <laughs> but good luck timer that team, yeah. then. Yeah, timer has come down 160 seconds till the game. Give us a few minutes, guys, and we will be right back with Friday Night Smite Finals game number one.
right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This is the finals of Friday Night Smite. Risky Behavior versus Vicious and Delicious. Uh, well, the only new god that I want to mention that's being played is Kappa Ross. Wobin. Wobin's playing Kappa Ross. Right? Hey, the Kappa playing Ross the, dream. Playing the tree. So that's about it. But you know the boys in blue, and uh, I'll let A-Rock introduce the boys in red. Alrighty, we got Vicious and Delicious. That sounds, sounds fierce, man. It sounds fierce. And we got a Shibalanke played by Psy, uh, Metam Metampsychosis. He's going to be playing alongside him in the duo lane as Geb. Buddha himself, the man, the myth, the myth, the legend, the god, playing on Thor. That's kind of weird. Buddha, why would you do this? Uh, Tupac is going to be playing on some Fenrir in the solo, and Ninja Sniper is going to be playing mid as our Agni. And I want to talk about what a great pick he did like made with the Agni into Xeno Trinox's Isis. Like if he's a good Agni, I feel bad for Xeno. Yeah, I mean no, Xeno is definitely a good Isis, but I mean Ninja definitely knows the matchup pretty well. So he should have a good good idea here. Especially once Ninja hits Ninja, a lot with those I uh, should be able to really Isis pretty pretty well right there. I did wanna what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Oh, you said Buddha. Like what if Buddha was in the game? Like what is what was attack be like not do anything. I don't really like, sleep. Like, <laughs> he's like, a, he's like, you will be passive, and like he has a permanent disarm, no spells, silences, can't use anything. Go back to base. <laughs> you know who I really want to see in this game as a god is Narcissus, um, the god of like he's he's basically full of himself. Like he would be like the god of reflections and mirrors, and uh, he he would be cool. Like my idea for him would be to have like floating mirrors around, and he could reflect abilities back at gods. I think that'd be sick. That would be so. You want a god that shield of the underworld? So you want shield of the underworld, the god? <laughs> exactly. But I want to see somebody's ability fly back at someone else. Oh god, that'd be kind of crazy right there. As the mid caps get started, Buddha and Ninja will take the left hand. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, they're gonna lose one of those mid harpies right there. So three of the four harpies going to the side of vicious and or going oh, to the side of risky behavior, I should say. In the solo, though, Tupac almost lost his life to Crazy Toaster. Crazy Toaster didn't go for the bounce, and he had the chance. Instead, he tried to clear the wave, and he could have picked up Tupac. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit of a misplay then right there. His ricochet is back up. Tupac is nearly half HP already, though, as he's got his uh, multi-pot and health pot ticking at the same time. The combination we see a lot of the solo laners used nowadays is popping both of those to go ahead and pretty much double it out. And he'll stun out the jump, but Tupac does have one available, so... Crazy's going to have to be careful. There is the stun. Brutalize not to follow into the wave. I'll, I'll give Tupac that, not wanting to brutalize into the wave. Yeah, I think that was a smart play. Uh, full creeps. He realized he wasn't going to clear the waves. So he's just going to back up into the tower. Should he have decided to fight? But Crazy Toaster is a little out of position here. He could find himself in a, in a rough spot. Oh, no. Tupac did not... <laughs> Couldn't get the brutalized off. Unfortunately, Crazy Toaster was ready with the hot and spicy stun, and now he's in a bad spot. Oh, hits the bounce. Doesn't yeah, see Buddha's Buddha, over though. here. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna use his this. mark. There's a wall. Double tap's gonna connect. There goes the jump right there. Brutalize is gonna. Oh, nice stun out right there. Nice playing right there. Had the mark on him. Understood that he had an escape. Used the stun. Was able to get there. Well, the whole time that's going on, Famous Hate is doing what he did on Hui last time, but he's doing it on Honor, the Lion, and, well, he's getting first blood. Again. Yeah. We, I was actually just spectating it at the very last second there. Looked like Wubbin just hit a nice route. Uh, took a, took almost all of his health. Uh, Famous Hate, you know, did on her things, and he hit him with that last auto, and bye bye So, looks like Kappa Ross will dominate for now. Yeah, at the end of the day, Honor is a very sneaky god with it, that path. Oh, the pull through the wall, Wubbin! You're a god! Oh, please, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! There it is. Kappa Ross. Spam it. Spam it. Spam Kappa Ross. Please. Oh, my gosh. Love it with that bull. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't even understand that. That was so sick, Wubbin. Oh, my gosh. You see how Wubbin did? He, like, pulled him, and I don't think he thought he was going to get him. He just stood there for a second. He was like, man, I pulled this guy. Wait, where's my ADC? I don't have any damage. And then, like... He just heals. Wubbin just uses, you know, his heal, and he just ends up getting a kill off of that. that was, so that was pretty good. By, that was, I mean, that was pretty good. Yeah. That was good. That was hype. Oh, we got another one. Straight pull. Shield down. Ultimate available. Famous Hate has a pillar. There's a speed pill right there. Ultimate not going to have to be used. Wubbin steals a kill from Famous. That's two. He's stolen two oh, kills. It's going to come out, though, because Buddha's in the sky. Berserker's Barrage gives it to his ADC. Now he's going to start pumping damage into that wave. But no, they're just going to turn around. Yeah. Oh, they realize the rotation's coming in. Kaparasa ADC. Kaparasa ADC, 2-0-1.
<laughs> but I feel bad for Famous, 1-1-2. One, one He's like, man, I can't get anything online. He got first blood at least, so he did get the gold right there. So he'll uh, at least start his boots. So boots will be finished up right there for the on her. Right now, solo lane fight continuing on versus the ADC. Tupac not really finding the better of this matchup at this moment in time. Uh, haven't really seen who we played in the solo lane much. You normally see, like... The Oolers and the Neefs, the ones that can kind of clear easier, but this is uh, kind of intense as four-man rotation going to be over here for the blue buff because that's what you do to steal blue buffs. Yeah, you, you four people. rotate all of your resources. <laughs> to get blue buff. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, it's actually a rough matchup, if you want to talk about it for a second, for Fenrir, because like when he starts to brutalize, which is a pretty good source of his damage, all Crazy Toaster has to do is jump, and that cancels his brutalize, unfortunately. So, basically, even if he unchains into Brutalize, Crazy Toaster gets away from Oh, Isis with the big stun right there. There goes another ultimate. Oh, Wubbin or uh, Metapsychosis with the Cataclysm, I should say. I'm used to seeing Wubbin on that, but this is going to probably be the end of Metapsychosis. They clean up one on the right-hand side. Crazy Toaster solos that out, and there goes Metapsychosis falling down. Team composition looking really strong for Risky right now. Five and one. Ninja Slap is really low at the quarter HP. Skelly's got no mana. Blinking by Wubbin, right? That's going to be a misses the pull, but the dots are going to clean. I love what Wubbin did right there. That's going to be an F6 Wow, at the five minute mark, Vicious and Delicious has got kind of beat up there. But smart play by Wubbin, understood that his ultimate was going to get the kill on the Agni, went to go ahead and go for the other play. Didn't end up getting it, still got the kill. ADC Kappa Ross. Game. <laughs> Kappa Ross. That's everything. That's... <laughs> everything. Kappa Ross won the game. Yes. <laughs> everything. Kappa Ross won the game. Like, I mean, was that an ADC Sylvanas 3 0? And... Yeah, cooldown like... boots. I mean, Kappa Ross. Was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Had... No, okay, Did okay. He? Let's see.